I'll take it. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise to support uh, this uh, CARA for the following reasons. I'm happy that finally money can be distributed to the counties. However, I'm not very happy with the amount which has been allocated to county governments. The national government keeps on clawing back on devolution, allocating ministries, billions of shillings, yet county governments, and that's where most of our population reside, are given peanuts. Mr. Speaker, I was looking at the numbers here today, and although someone will clap and say Narrow County has been given an allocation, an additional allocation of 171 million shillings, the assemblies have only been, the ceiling has only been raised by a, a, a 1.4 million shillings. What is that? We require assemblies to be given for their ceiling to be raised so that they can actually be able to oversight counties. I think what we need to do, Mr. Speaker, is with the little money that has been allocated to the county governments, we need to ensure a fiduciary responsibility on the side of the accounting officers. That is where we are missing the point. We can realign our small existing resources and bring in accountability and change a lot of things on how things are done in county governments. Yes, we have overborrowed as a country. Yes, this Senate became, you know, fought a little bit, got an additional nine billion which you could have actually gotten more. I never voted for the division of revenue because I felt like the little money that was given was not enough. You know, when you see a, a member of the National Assembly clapping hands and saying they've already been allocated an additional 20 million shillings to carry out functions, which essentially should be carried out by the county government, then you start questioning whether all of us really understand our role. When I, I, I long for the time when we will all become of age to know that Parliament's role is to legislate, but not to implement on projects. When you see members of the National Assembly running around, even county assemblies tomorrow will say they also need a kitty. And these are the things that we've been fighting about. I think we need to think about the future generation. And the time for us to think about the future generation is now. Mr. Speaker, I think my time is over. Senator Wamatinga. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I also like to support. Indeed, 